to that deadly that story about a deadly stretch of North Lamar where several people have died after being hit by cars. KXN's Amanda Brandeis reports on a renewed effort for more crosswalks and sidewalks. Good boy. He's friendly, dog friendly, as you can see. He doesn't like cats, but he's a great companion. But since the accident, he's been learning to live without his companion. His owner was tragically killed trying to cross the street. Him being a service dog for about a decade, it'd be heartbreaking to know that he would have to go to a shelter. And Sammy Darling with Texas Service Dog says it's a miracle Kariba survived. But sadly, his owner is not the first to lose his life along the North Lamar Corridor. North Lamar is one of the most dangerous streets in our city for pedestrians and for drivers. In 2011, we showed you this portion of North Lamar with no sidewalks. Then in 2015, I went back to the same spot and still no sidewalks. Now one year later, I decided to come back to this spot again, and you can see no change. North Lamar is way behind. Uh, our staff recently told me it could be up to 70 or $80 million below standard. As the area's first council representative, Greg Kassar says he's working to get the funding. Last month, council approved $750,000 for sidewalks and pedestrian beacons. There's also over 15 million bond dollars dedicated to Lamar and Burnett. But it can't be fixed oh fast enough. Kariba's proof of that. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. If you're interested in adopting Kariba, you can learn more about him through our website, kxan.com. As for the progress on North Lamar, Kassar hopes to kick off some supporting projects this year. However, he says in the meantime, city engineers have to deal with significant drainage issues on that street.